Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, I know I wasn't on last week. I was super busy. I couldn't do the live. I didn't have time to do the live. Okay, so I'm back this week uh, to do the all signs for the full moon in Aquarius happening on Tuesday. Um, I'll be working on some more collective readings for you guys for the full moon for this weekend. Um, uh, some updates um, or announcements, okay? Um, my Etsy shop is open. Uh, this is actually one of my brace bracelets from there. I just added a whole bunch of like tarot crystal bags and tarot crystal pouches and ta you know tarot stands okay i'm getting ready for a pop-up that i'm doing uh here in connecticut westport ct um in conjunction with uh crystals unlimited llc i'll be doing a pop-up shop august the 13th from 12 to 6 i'll be i'll be doing pop-up readings in person okay so if anybody's in the westport connecticut area um come see me i'll be at uh, crystals unlimited in westport ct okay uh check out my etsy shop that's etsy slash shop slash phoenix ascension 333 um my link tree you know you can con contact me on there for personal readings um I'll be doing, you know, giveaways and discounted readings while on the live. I posted it up above in the comments. Um, I know the star systems here on uh, Facebook changed, so I adjusted like the how much, you know, I would, um, what readings I would give based on what stars are sent. Okay, remember to drop them angel numbers. Um, remember the angel numbers are repetitive numbers, ascending or descending numbers. They can be over 10 and it can be repetitive, okay? Whoever guesses the correct angel number will get a free angel card pull at the end of the live, okay? Also, drop your horoscope signs, okay? Um, I'm going to start the all signs, horoscope signs. And whatever sign gets mentioned the most in the comments, I will pull out additional cards for that horoscope. So make sure you comment your zodiac sign and comment the angel number so that you can get the free one card pull. Um, okay, so let's start with Capricorn. This is for the full moon in Aquarius. Okay, what should Capricorn the Capricorns expect for the full moon in Aquarius? Clear and accurate messages, please. Okay, you guys got the two of wands and the seven of coins in the reverse. Okay. So you're kind of like up in arms about some type of decision, okay? You're deciding on which path to take, okay? You're losing, okay? So with the seven of, of coins in the reverse, this is you kind of like losing sight of like everything that you've obtained and achieved, okay? You kind of maybe worrying about those things that you don't have, you know, yet, okay? Um, you may be worried about maybe some type of investment not working out, okay? So you're kind of like in limbo um, about what it is that, you know, you're wanting to decide based on this choice. Um, as far as like how, you know, what the energy that you're putting in, the resources that you're putting in, like will it pay off, okay? So you're kind of in limbo, and I think with this full moon in Aquarius, you're going to make a clear-cut decision about what it is that you want um, and what investment is going to pay off for you in the long run, okay? Um, remember, guys, drop them angel numbers, drop them, you know, horoscope signs. I will post this live on my page later if you do miss your sign for whatever reason, okay? The next sign is Aquarius, okay? Let's look at Aquarius for the full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius for the full moon in Aquarius. Signs of Aquarius for the full moon in Aquarius. Okay, that one flipped over. That is the Ten of Coins, wow. And the Seven of Coins in the reverse, okay. Um. So you're kind of stable at this time, but there's some type of again with this investment that you feel is like kind of going kaput kaput okay um you're trying to hold on to them coins okay the ten of the ten of coins is like the ultimate level of you know stability the ultimate level of you know 
security, safety, groundedness, okay? Um, you might be worried about some type of investment or this could mean that there's some type of investment here that you're not sure of it's going to pay off in the long run, okay? Um, or you're lose again, you with this card, you're losing sight of everything that you've obtained and acquired thus far, okay? Um... You're going from the 10 to the 7, so it's like you might be losing, maybe you might be losing some money, okay, um, or losing something, okay, with this full moon. Because remember, full moons are about clearings, clarity, you know, banishment, um, like letting go of things, releasing things, okay? So this might be maybe some type of income that you might be letting go of, some type of investment you might be letting go of, okay? With this full moon, okay? Um, you are stable and you are secure, so just know whatever it is that you have to let go of, like you're still going like to be this 10 of, ten of coins, okay? Um, the next sign is uh, Pisces. Okay. Remember, drop them angel numbers, drop them zodiac signs. Hey, Annie, how are you? Thank you for commenting your zodiac sign and the number, okay? Um, so the next sign is uh, Pisces for the full moon in Aquarius. The Pisces sign for the full moon in Aquarius. Okay. Wow, the magician and the king of swords. Wow. Okay, so you're ma you're trying to manifest something. You have the tools and the resources available at your disposal, okay? Um, but you're kind of in this King of Swords energy, okay? Um, you're not manifest. You're 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 trying to manifest logically, okay? You know, you're trying to manifest logically, but you're not manifesting from your heart. You're not manifesting from your true self okay remember that the universe knows your intentions okay and if your intentions are not aligned with the highest good of all your manifestations are not going to come through okay so you have to make sure that you know you kind of step out of this king of swords because king of king of swords is someone very cold-hearted okay they're very cutthroat and to the point okay very guarded okay um very logical very very logical um very thinkative thoughtful okay um don't just lean on your logic to manifest okay um like i said make sure that you are standing in integrity when whatever you're trying to manifest um and let go of like let go of wanting a certain outcome okay of thinking of a certain outcome okay because the universe is going to grant your manifestation again in the best way possible and for the highest good of all for everyone involved in your life okay not just for you okay um the next sign is aries okay guys drop them angel numbers drop them horoscope signs um free one card pull for whoever guesses the correct angel number and uh, additional cards pulled for uh, the sign most mentioned, okay? Uh, what did I say I was up to? Aries. Aries for the full moon in Aquarius. Wow. These cards are jumping out today. Five of coins and a three of wands. Oof. Okay. So someone is feeling left out in the cold, okay? Or you might have been leaving somebody out in the cold, and then somebody else is here waiting for their ship to come in, okay? Waiting for some for a message, waiting for someone to take action, okay? Remember with the five of coins, this talks about you having sanctuary right next door, but being too proud to ask for help, being too proud to accept the help, okay? Um, you have to question whether you're putting yourself out in the cold, okay? Um, and also with the three of wands, the three of wands cautions against just waiting for things to happen. Like you have to understand that with wands, okay, wands is, talks about initiative and manifestations. 
with the wands like you have to take action okay you have to take certain steps you can't just wait for things to drop out of the sky you have to actually pursue the things that you want take the steps that you're guided to take and then step back and wait to receive don't just sit there and wait okay <laughs> um because you know this may be a situation where maybe you're losing out on money um this may be a situation where you might be um you know how do I say this? Like, you're leaving something out um, because Pentacles talks about stability, security, safety, okay? Be careful that you're not doing this to yourself, okay? Uh, be careful of the money that you're wasting. Be careful of the, the energy that you're putting into certain things, okay? Um, be careful that you're just not wait you're waiting for this imagine this you know ship that might not ever come in okay make sure that you're also taking these steps okay all right that was Aries we're moving on to Taurus okay number guys drop the angel numbers free one card pull for whoever guesses it correctly and the most mentioned signed will get additional cards pulled okay we are on to uh, Taurus. Taurus for the full moon in Aquarius. Oh, that one flipped over. I'm taking it. Page of coins. Three of wands again. Okay. So, Taurus. This is you like... Whew. Okay. So, page of, pa pages of coins are like the interns, the apprentice. apprentice. I was going to say apprenticeship for some reason. So, you might be thinking about maybe some apprenticeships apprenticeship or internship i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong um or maybe even just like putting only a little bit of effort or a little bit of money or a little bit of time into something that you're trying to manifest that you just want it to just show up for you okay um you know that's you gotta give in order to receive okay this is this is how ba the balance of karma works right um if you're putting in too little you're going to get too little okay um again with the three of wands make sure that you're not just waiting for things to pop out of the sky okay make sure that you take initiative Make sure that, you know, you take those steps you're guided to take, okay? Don't just sit there and wait to receive, okay, if you're not putting in the work, if you're not putting in the time, if you're not putting in that commitment, okay? Because coins, pentacles talks about, you know, being committed, okay? Make sure that what it is that you're asking for and that when you receive it, that you're going to be fully committed to, okay? And with that level of commitment, it requires a certain amount of effort, okay? Um, all right, so next is Gemini, okay? Guys, drop them angel numbers, drop them um, horoscope signs, okay? Guys, I'm up to Gemini. If you missed your sign, you can see the replay later, okay? Um, I'm up to Gemini for the full moon in Aquarius for the signs of Gemini. Oh, that one came out. Okay, six of cups, nine of coins, and the nine of wands. Wow, okay. So six of cups talks about uh, thinking back to good times. Okay, childhood. Okay, um... Uh, thinking be, having feelings of nostalgia okay having to do with some type of action okay some type of um action having to do with either like stability or groundedness okay um and nine of wands talks about having one foot in one foot out and being guarded okay um this is a situation where you're 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 having uh, nostalgic feelings about someone who has actively maybe pursued you, okay, offered maybe some type of commitment, maybe some type of even uh, financial opportunity, okay, 
Um, but you're kind of guarded now. You're kind of one foot in, one foot out. You don't really know if you want this anymore, okay? With the Six of Cups, okay, that also talks about having rose-colored glasses about the situation. Make sure that um, you're also looking at the situation from a logical standpoint, okay? Don't, like, kind of put your emotions aside, okay, and really see through the BS, okay? Um... Knight of Coins talks about doing, okay? This could be someone that's moving really slow or this opportunity is moving very slow, okay? Because Knights are about doing, but Coins and Pentacles, it's, it, you know, it that that's time. That's um, a season. That's uh, months, years, okay? Um, so this offer that's coming in slowly, you're, you're having good feelings about, but like, or you're thinking, you're thinking of all the good times, but you're not really, you know, you're one foot in, one foot out because of it. Because deep down inside, you see the red flags, okay? You, to me, like, with, with the way this card is set up, you see, it's like, there, you know, you can see, it's, and it's red, which is ironic. Um, all the red flags are there, okay? So just be careful that you're not wearing rose-colored glasses, okay, regarding the situation. Okay. Uh, up next is Cancer, okay? Guys, drop them angel numbers for a free one-card pull. And the sign most mentioned will get additional cards pulled, okay? We are up to Cancer for the full moon in Aquarius. Wow. Okay, Cancer. Queen of Coins, Palace of Cups. Wow. What? Okay. Queen of Coins, this is someone grounded, stable, secure, safe, head of household. You might be a single mom, okay, running things, okay. You might be a businesswoman, okay. Um, this is someone who um, you're, you're grounded, you're safe, you're secure, you're stable. Like, and then Palace of Cups is like an environment... Um, you you create like this like environment of like emotional fulfillment okay um I, with this message i'm also getting like you might be like spending some money to go on maybe some type of vacation okay because like it's giving me very much ocean okay um you could be you know investing some type of money um into maybe booking some type of getaway or vacation for yourself okay um this is nice okay and and with the queen of cups is well deserved because like queen of coins they're about their money like they they're they actively you know like you know queen, queen of coins like they they you know queens feel okay so it's like you need to be stable you need to be secure you need to be grounded so you're very like precise and self-disciplined when it comes to your money when it comes to like that stability okay so yeah i mean kudos to you you going on vacation girl <laughs> i want to go on vacation <laughs> guys drop them angel numbers okay whoever guesses the correct angel number will get a uh, free card pull and uh the most the signs most mentioned will get additional cards pulled towards the end of the reading okay that was cancer we are now up to leo leo for the full moon in aquarius wow three of swords and a page of swords okay okay so this is heartbreak this is betrayal um you know she's crying you know she's upset um and this has to do with the page of swords someone childish who like maybe was playing mind games um someone who still needs to grow up um someone who offers very little truth okay because like with the page or someone guarded okay like literally like you know in other tarot depictions you can see like this person holding up this sword just like ready to attack ready to fight okay maybe this this person is very like defensive okay um i feel like with with the full moon aquarius you need to let go 
sorry guys I little like it cut me off again for some reason um I hope everyone can hear me I'm not lagging or anything okay my, my I think my connection is acting up um but what I was saying like with the full moon and Aquarius I feel like you have to let go of this pain and heartbreak okay I feel like you have to use these swords this pain and turn it into a lesson you know see it for the lesson that what it is see it for um you know take those L's turn them into power in a way um maybe even forgive this person okay understand that in the grand scheme the grand scheme of things okay people hurt you for a lesson and it's to trigger you it's to you know make you look inward okay and love yourself don't let this betrayal or heartbreak or pain make you bitter let it make you better okay okay guys remember drop the angel numbers for the free one card pool drop them uh horoscope signs for additional cards pulled for your sign okay uh we did leo we are now up to virgo virgo for the full moon and aquarius oh okay okay jesus christ <laughs> wow <laughs> the death card and the king of swords oh wow okay leo year i mean leo why did i say leo um virgo you guys are ending something with a king of swords okay you are ending something with someone emotionally attached you are ending something with someone who like is very cold and ruthless okay um, or this could also mean that you're ending this way of being, okay? You're, 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 you're rebirthing, you know, cause that with death comes rebirth, right? So you're rebirthing yourself from, you know, being soft, okay? And being always in your emotions to kind of stepping into your logic, okay? Um, King of Swords also talks about like a lawyer, okay? Um, this may be an ending where you um, might have to seek legal advice, okay? Um, it talks about getting advice from someone blunt to the point, like, you know, this is you kind of also like deading that notion of people pleasing and really stepping into your king of swords and kind of like being emotionally detached from certain situations certain people um so this is th yeah wow um major arcana card this is with depths too especially around a full moon that's like this is a major transformation for you okay Okay, next up, Libra. Okay, remember, drop the angel numbers. Free one card pull. Drop them angel numbers. Drop them zo uh, zodiac signs. The most mentioned zodiac signs. I'll pull additional cards for. Okay, based on whatever sign is most mentioned within the comments. Okay, so we are up to Libra. Libra for the full moon. Libra for the full moon. Wow, you got you guys got just. <laughs> you guys got justice with the king of swords <laughs> 10 no it's not 10 10 i thought it was 10 10 okay but 10 10 might be very significant okay 10s are about completions um when i ever see 10 10 that's a double completion okay on both ends okay so justice we all know justice is a legal system okay justice is um the scales of karma okay are uh, being weighed out justice is divine justice okay so karma being dished out okay based on some type of judgment okay um and this entails a king of swords okay um this could literally be saying that you know with some type of legal issue you're going through you're gonna have to seek legal counsel okay because we just talked about the king of swords being a lawyer figure okay um, being someone blunt and to the point, okay? This could, like I said, this could also be justice against someone who was emotionally distant, emotionally detached, ruthless, cold, you know? Um, so, yeah, um, I don't want to curse on this live because I'm going to get probably kicked out, but this is like karma serving somebody's ASS, you know? 
<laughs> All right, Scorpio for the full moon and Aquarius. Guys, drop some angel numbers. I'm going to keep saying this until people drop angel numbers. At least try an angel number, okay? Angel numbers are the repetitive numbers, the ascending numbers, the descending numbers. It could go past 10, okay? So like I said before, like 10, 10, okay? Try combinations of that, okay? Whoever guesses the correct angel number will get a free one-card angel pull, okay, towards the end of the live, okay? We are up to Scorpio for the full moon in Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to take it because it jumped midway. Wow. King of Wands, Four of Cups. Okay. King of Wands. King, kings are masters of their suit. Okay. King of Wands is someone very passionate. Okay. Someone very fiery. Okay. Um, and this could be you. Or someone you're dealing with, okay? And this entails a situation where you're not satisfied with the offers that you've received thus far, okay? Or this could mean that, you know, you either rejected an offer or an offer of your your offer was rejected, okay? Um, and again, this has to do with the King of Wands. So this could be you or this could be whoever you're thinking about, okay? Um, King of Wands, okay is also like i said because they're the masters of the the suit okay uh they're actually putting in play okay wands are about initiative wands are about manifestation okay so you might be trying to manifest um some type of positive outcome based on an an offer that was rejected okay or maybe even trying to manifest um your offer not being rejected, okay? Take that how that resonates, okay? All right, that was Scorpio. The last one is uh, Sagittarius, okay? Guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing that angel number. I'm not seeing that angel number um, that I am thinking about. So remember, drop the angel numbers, whatever angel numbers that you feel called to. Um, you know, comment for that free one card pull and um, drop them signs, the horoscope signs, because at the uh, at the end of the all signs reading, I'm going to pull three additional cards for whatever card came out for your sign. OK, so the most mentioned signed will get additional cards pulled. OK, we are down to the last sign of Sagittarius. OK, Sag Sagittarius for the full moon Aquarius. Sagittarius for the full moon in Aquarius. Sagittarius for the full moon in Aquarius. Mm. Page of Wands. Whoa. And the Six of Swords. Okay. So this situation involves someone. Man, y'all going from the king to. Uh, the king to the to the page like okay so this is the beginning the the beginning of initiative the beginning of a passionate message the beginning of something okay um pages also have to do with apprenticeship apprenticeship internship some type of uh, apprenticeship or internship in a creative field okay okay because wands have to do with um creativity okay um or this could be a very impulsive childish individual okay that you are moving on from okay because six of swords talks about moving on to calmer waters packing your bags you know emo your emotional bags per se using your logic to get the hell out of dodge okay you probably figured that this person is immature um you probably figured um that this person is um, they're very impulsive. They're very quick to just, or this person is just very quick to just go. Okay. Um, regardless, you're, you're dropping this person. Okay. Um, you're dropping this like little offer. Okay. Because with pages, I feel like they're like minuscule offers. Um, and you're moving on. You're moving on to something better. Okay. 
right, let's see within the comments who got the most mentions, what sign was most mentioned. So you guys have a few minutes to drop your zodiac sign. Uh, I will pull out additional cards. I see Gemini. Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, a second Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a second Virgo, I think that was a second Sag. Third Sag. A Leo, Aries, Pisces. I think I said Libra. Sorry guys. Bear with me guys. I'm just scrolling through the comments to see what sign was most mentioned. Okay, so it's a toss up between Gemini and uh, Virgo. So I'm going to take the, the Virgos, okay? And Virgos, you guys got the death card, okay? Virgos, thanks for commenting. Okay, so I'm going to pull out three cards for Virgo, depending on their situation. It was deading somebody... Oh, deading the king of swords, okay? Deading somebody cold and heartless or, or stepping out of that or deading that um, persona or stepping out of your emotions and thinking more logically. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That was Virgo. Okay, yeah. So the situation involves self-love, okay? The situa the reason why you're ending things with that individual is because you're you you know, it says don't forget to love yourself. You are stepping into your self-love and you emotionally if you, those people the Virgos that are emotionally detaching from someone and ending that situation is because you're learning how to you, this situation has taught you how to love yourself okay divine timing patience and perseverings okay i feel like um some type of situation that you're waiting on okay calls on you to be patient and persevere despite the obstacles despite the struggles okay um understand that things will happen in divine timing okay don't lose sight of that okay true love love of my life okay um, you probably end up thinking if this, this has to do with an individual and not you ending personality types within yourself, I feel like, you know, you had to emotionally detach because you loved this person and you knew that in the long run, this person wasn't good for you. Okay. Um, also like with the true love and the self love, I feel like you're coming to that realization that like, you know, you don't have to look for true love outside of you, okay? You have that within you, okay? And you're starting to embody that a little bit more. You're starting to, if for those people who are jumping out of being the king of swords to a more, you know, emotional side, okay? 
and the situation also involves a daughter or a niece okay so that me might be very significant or some type of inner child healing having to do with being a daughter or being a niece okay i hope that was helpful to the virgos within the chat okay um I did see in the comments that someone did um, guess the correct angel number. Um, so I'm going to look at the comments to see exactly who that person was. So someone did get it finally. I've been using that same like angel number for the past, like the, the past three lives and nobody has gotten it. So let me just... It's hard to shuffle this deck. They're like these cards are a little bit bigger. Okay, so let me just get my angel numbers. All right, who was the person that got it? Uh, I just saw it. Uh, Maisha Johnson. It was eighteen eighteen. Okay. Thank you so much for commenting the angel number. This is for Maisha Johnson, okay? Maisha Johnson. You got wait and take action, okay? So basically, whatever situation that you're thinking about currently, um, the angels are asking you to wait and have patience before you take some type of action or initiative, okay? This may be a situation where they're calling on you to receive something before you take action. So maybe you're receiving some type of sign, maybe receiving, the, you know, the, the go ahead about something before you actually like, you know, go from zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Gallop on that horse and just go. Okay. Um, so yeah, just, just wait. Okay. Wait it out. You know, don't be so impulsive. Okay. Um, wait for that sign wait for that message wait okay wait before you take any type of action okay i hope that was helpful to you okay Um, guys, thank you so much for rocking with me tonight. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying their Friday evening. Um, again, if you missed your sign and you came in in the middle of the reading, I will be posting this video up, um, on my page. I don't really normally delete my lives, so you can catch the replay on there. Um, thank you for everyone that commented their, you know, their angel numbers, their zodiac signs. I try to do these once, uh, um, you're welcome, Maisha. Um, I try to do these once a week okay preferably friday nights after nine o'clock or sunday nights after nine o'clock okay so if you don't catch me on a friday i might post on a sunday but if you don't catch me either or day then i might not do it that week okay um so stay tuned again i'll be doing a pop-up shop uh in westport connecticut august 13th from 12 to 6 at crystals unlimited um at their pop-up event okay I'm available for personal readings, parties, and events. All my information is pinned to the top of my page, okay? You can you can um, uh, book readings with me on my link tree. That is also pinned to the top of my page, okay? You can always message me for any spiritual-related guidance. I do not do free readings, okay? Um, what else? Uh Remember to check out my Etsy shop. That's also pinned to the top of my page. And, um, you know, I'll be on the lookout for this week, you know, this weekend's uh, collective readings uh, for the full moon in Aquarius. Um, I'll be posting up a ta another tarot reading and a collective energy reading. So be on the lookout for those. Um, thank you so much for the support. And thank you guys, like I said, for rocking with me. Um, and I will see you guys around. Take care. Bye.